Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. If you're new to my channel, I wholeheartedly welcome you to Eat to Live Strong. Today is Wonderful Wednesday. It is day 115 of Multiple Sclerosis, my daily diary, and it is April the 27th, 2022. Uh, this is raw, uncut footage, which means I do not edit the videos. Whatever I say, it sticks. You get to see my interactions living with multiple sclerosis daily. I may forget a word or how to say some things, and I may have that MS moment. This is all due to a set of testing that discovered that I had lesions on my brain, which actually has a lot to do with the sensories in the body, where with your memory and your cognitive um, problems and your everyday moving around. And I had lesions on the spine, which also has something to do with your um, your mobility and um, other things. Your um, walking and you're using your limbs and things of that nature but this is all part of the diagnosis that told me that i had ms but it don't have me um so let's go ahead and get in where we fit in um, by reaching out and giving thanks to the man upstairs for this beautiful day heavenly father i come before the throne today to say thank you for this beautiful day thank you for waking each and every one of us up thank you for your continued blessings of our health and our wealth lord if there's anyone on this on this channel or even with me um, needs help for healing please heal us lord from the top of our heads and to the soles of our feet thank you lord for the continued blessings again thank you for this opportunity to make good of something that we didn't make good before in the past bring it to our attention lord so that we can ask for forgiveness thank you lord for opening my heart and my mind and pouring into my spirit the things that i need to say each and every day on my channel Thank you, Lord, that things are resonating with my followers and on my channel with regards to Eat to Live Strong and Multiple Sclerosis. Thank you, Lord, for my family, my friends, my followers, and myself. And Lord, I thank you for all of these wonderful things you continue to do for us. In your son's name, Jesus Christ, I'm praying for these things. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. I love you. So the word has been spoken. So guys, I am headed, um, we are headed to, uh, today is Wednesday, it's our thrifting day. So we are headed out to, I don't think this window is closed. We're headed out to um, do a little um, thrifting. Just wanted to say that quickly on last night, I took my injection from Kisa, for Kesimpta and it's my monthly injection. So I take it once a month guys. And if you don't recall, I did a video a few days ago when I was waiting for my medication to be delivered by um, one of the major carriers and it came in um, super late again. And when I opened the box, the medication was still warm, was warm, so it wasn't cold. This time the ice pack still had some ice, some slushy ice um, in it. However, it did not have a, um, the, contain, the actual key symptom was um, not cold. So the pharmacist uh, refused to send another replacement in because he said that it left their facility at four something, which is in Texas, and I'm in Georgia. It left at four something that afternoon, and it got to me before the 12 hours. He says, so you're fine. So when I kept questioning him, asking him, what is gonna happen if I take this medication and it was not to the temperature? And he just kind of played around and beat around the bush with it until finally I said, Will I die if I take this? I said, because you're not answering my question. I say, so I don't know if you're just thinking, I don't know what you're thinking, but my question to you is, will I die if I take this medication and the temperature was not to its setting? He comes back and he says, no, you will not die. What will happen is the medication just will not work as it won't be as effective. Then that beats the, that defe defeats the purpose because if I have a flare up because it did not, meet the you know what I'm saying so it kind of ticked me off so last night I did a quick video I'm going to link it up there um, it's nothing that I put on Facebook or anything I'm just going to put it on the side well, well no I'll go ahead and link it up there but if you guys want to see the video I will go ahead and put it out but what I did last night guys because this is my journal and my journey my journal and my journey so what I did was I politely did a small video last night I think it was maybe five minutes um, because I told the story that I just told you guys 
but I also left this for I left the video for my family or followers even if you know if I happen to put it on Facebook I mean on YouTube uh, if something were to happen to me last night which thank God it didn't because I prayed over the medication before I inject did the injection but um, and I had a I, I, my family is a, a praying family so I just reached out to the prayer group and they prayed for me but I put the message out there um, on my my phone so I called my mom back and I said listen I got a video on my phone if something were to happen to me have hubby to pull the video and you guys take this to wherever you need to take it because this question was posed to this pharmacist and he assured me that nothing was gonna happen so I did a little short video as a, a line of protection for my family so they need to know what happened they can pull the video out so by the grace of God and you know the praying family and me praying because prayer works guys it did not um, nothing happen but I did have my security blanket with the video so that's another reason why I do these videos is to not only teach you guys about well not so much teach but share my wealth of knowledge with dealing with multiple sclerosis to you so that you can go ahead and take it to someone else if you hear anybody talk about MS so that's what happened last night. I woke up again this morning, thank God, with no uh, no symptoms or anything. I will say that last night, though, I did have, not, it was just, I was sweating like crazy like it was when I first took the medication. So I've got to call my doctor's office today, the pharmacy, and tell them what happened and let them know what was the result of me taking that, using that prescription, that um, injectable um, that I had hot you know not hot flashes I was sweat night sweats just totally sweating for no reason because it was chilly here last night as a matter of fact it is just starting to warm up right now I can't see the temperature but um, uh, it's saying that it is oh that's what I, it says that it is oh it's 68 degrees outside so but anyway guys I am not gonna hold you long on this video I just wanted to let you know that I took the injection and I woke up this morning, you know, thankfully. And um, I'm gonna go out for a little bit and run some errands um, and do a little thrifting, but not too much. But uh, other than that, I think that's it. I will go ahead at the end of the video. Now I'm gonna pause the video because I'm gonna do some things today. I may come in and out. And what I will do is put my by meals I will put them in this video so basically that's it guys so thank you so much for joining me I'm gonna go ahead and pause the video and then I'll come back to give my final speech if I don't come back on with anything else today then you'll just see my meal and what happened at the end of the day because this is gonna be my test of time to see what happened after taking that uh, medication so anyway guys I'll be back to you thank you okay guys we're back from our Wednesday ritual and I did stop off at the grocery store because I had to get a few items so that I can complete my dinner. We didn't eat out, so we're back to eating at home the sensible way. And I had to get some more fruit. We are eating fruit like crazy. Now, I only eat three fruit a day. So that's the rich, that's the plan that I started off on, and that's what helped me lose all of my weight by doing the three fruits a day. So, but hubby and they love fruit so and I'm not I'm happy for them so they can eat the fruit and everything I rather them eat fruit than cookies and pies and cakes and all that other stuff so I did stop and get a few things so I'm not going to pin the video I'm sorry I'm not gonna pin the um, the meal and stuff I haven't decided how I'm gonna do this because dinner is almost done and I'm gonna go ahead and end the video but I will put the pictures of what I had today uh, which was healthy. I started off with a beet juice and um, a banana. That was my breakfast. And then for snack, I ate a handful of um, pistachios and walnuts because you guys remember walnut is a brain food. It looks like the brain. So that's what I had for snack. And then for lunch, I had, uh, I had some leftover um, Impossible Burgers. So I had an Impossible Burger for lunch and with avocado without a spread because the spread was gone they ate the spread like crazy so i had just the avocado plain i love avocado so that was lunch and then for um 
dinner. This is a surprise, but I'll put that in this video too. So you'll see my dinner and I did my water. I do have some challenges coming up guys and I'm going to post them in my community tab. So hopefully you guys will want to join the challenge. It's all healthy and hey, if you don't want to do it, you don't have to do it. So, but anyway, I'm going to go ahead and end the video and I want to thank you so much for joining me today. Please be sure to like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. Click the notification bell so that you can be notified of all my videos when they're uploaded. Share me out because sharing is caring. And as I say at the end of each and every one of my videos, God bless you. See you next time. Love you long time. Bye. I have MS, but MS don't have me. I walk the walk and I am blessed. I walk the walk and I am blessed. See you guys on tomorrow. That will be Thankful Thursday and that will be day 116. Bye.